At Family Initiative, we empower ASD youth and their families, as well as those in the child welfare system, by giving them the foundational skills they need to build friendships, grow families, enjoy citizenship, and gain an overall sense of belonging. We provide evidence-based therapies, innovative cutting-edge programs, practical training, and truly compassionate support to help make it possible for every child and family living with ASD to thrive. Our goal at Family Initiative is to gain independence for the children that we serve. Um, as our children become adolescents and our adolescents become young adults, that's why we work out in the community, we work in home, we work in schools, we work in lots of different environments so that our children are able to manage and successfully navigate all of the different settings that are, exist in our world and in our space. And through that work, we feel exceedingly confident that we're able to get to a place where many of our children gain independence. We use a number of clinical approaches, all of them that has sound research and data behind it to show the efficacy of it. That is overlaid into all the programs that we do, where we have the applied behavior analysis, the occupational therapy, some of the social skills programs that we're using are evidence-based approaches, but in a way that doesn't feel so rigid to our kids. Our social skills playgroup was the first program that we ever launched and really this was built to meet the unique needs of children who are diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. Children with autism often have difficulty communicating with peers, socializing, they just struggle with some of those social norms. So we play games, we do some structured activities, we do some unstructured activities, we do some small group, we do some large group, everything in an effort to build those skills for our kids while they're playing and having fun. So our teen hangout group was named by a group of our teens many years ago. And that's really a place that is designed and tailored for our youth, teens, young adults, as they get older. So for our teens, we wanted to create a unique space where they could talk about those things. Social media, how do I navigate that? How do I navigate dating? How do I navigate being more independent? How do I think about what I want to do after school? One of the other programs that we started many years ago is our parent support group. And our support group is not so much support, some education, some just getting together and bonding and laughing together. We bring in national speakers from around the country. All of these families coming together really creates a unique learning environment for them and a really supportive group of families that are really there for each other, really are sticking up for each other and supporting each other and caring for each other. So for our Applied Behavior Analysis Services, or ABA services, we really make it an inclusive environment. A lot of families were used to going to a clinic, dropping their kids off, picking them up an hour or two later, and not knowing what was happening. And here we just believe differently, that the family should be involved. So our approach is not sitting at a table doing tasks. Our approach is getting on the floor playing with our kids. Our approach is going to Publix and grocery shopping. It's going to the parks, it's going to schools. It's going to where our families need us. Another one of our services is our occupational therapy program. Again, like our ABA program, our team of occupational therapists are going to the kids where they need their needs met. So with occupational therapy, they're really working on some of those motor skills. So handwriting, feeding, getting dressed, any of those things that our uh, parents are having difficulty with, our occupational therapists can work alongside them to help their child be successful and thrive. The third clinical service that we are excited to provide is speech therapy. So a lot of our kids have difficulty communicating or finding the right words or knowing when to use those words. So in conjunction with our behavior team, our occupational therapy team, our speech therapists are gonna work with our kids to help them learn those skills. Sometimes it might be articulation and they can't pronounce the words. Sometimes it's more of the language part of it and knowing the kind of semantics behind it and the language part, when to say those things, when's appropriate. One of the other programs that we provide throughout the state of Florida in various sites is our child welfare program. So in this program, we work with families who take in kids who are involved in the foster care system. So supporting caregivers, whether it be licensed foster parents or relatives who are taking care of kids who've experienced some pretty significant trauma. So our team of clinicians around the state is working alongside to train those caregivers on how to do it, but not just training, then going in home with them and coaching them through when those circumstances happen. 
a family initiative we're thrilled to have all of these services under one roof in a collaborative team to work with families. Certainly the need for um, services with Family Initiative and for the families that we serve um, has, been, uh, has been remarkable. And as fast as we build capacity, um, the demand and the need, uh, one with the increased prevalency, so the Center for Disease Control now says that one in 44 children in the U.S. is diagnosed on the autism spectrum. And there is plenty of research and data that says that that prevalency rate is even higher. Um, and so as we have more folks coming into our community, moving in every day, and that prevalency continues to climb, um, the demand has been exponential. And so as we expand our applied behavior analysis program, our occupational therapy program, all of our clinical community-based services, um, it's just crucial that we continue to scale to meet that demand because um, families are counting on us to come through for them. Family Initiative has taught us who our son is. If it wasn't for family, family Initiative, I do not know where we would be. The name says it all. They are not concerned only with providing clinical services for the child. Their concern is the entire family. I feel really, really blessed that they decided to take this on and um, help all of us in the autism community. There is nothing else like it. There is no one else like it. Um, without them, I would be completely lost and still struggling every single day. So Family Initiative is growing and the need is growing. And every day as we work across our region to continue to expand, to support our families, to provide clinical support services and, and community-based programs and to advocate to our state leaders, we need your help. Uh, folks across our community are impacted by autism on a daily basis. So please consider supporting Family Initiative and help us grow and expand our impact across the community.